Hey math kids, today we're going to talk about the Pythagorean Theorem. And up to this point, you've probably seen this before, so this should be just a like refresher. Okay, we'll start with one that works out really nicely. So remember, it's... I'll even color code it. So it's a squared plus b squared. equals c squared. All right, so for this one, it's going to be 3 squared plus 4 squared equals x squared. All right, I'll stop with the color coding. <laughs> so it's going to be 9 plus 16 equals x squared. Add those together, we get 25. Then we square root both sides. We end up with 5 equals x. And the reason why we don't use a plus or minus in this situation is because we're talking about a distance, and a negative distance in this case doesn't make sense. All right. So let's try another one. All right, so we're going to say 10 squared plus 7 squared equals x squared. So it's 100 plus 49. 149 is not a perfect square. So when we do this, I'm going to go to a calculator to help me figure out what this is. We go to the calculator. I can go 149 raised to the 0.5, or I can say second square root 149. And we see on both of them we get 12.2. So x is approximately 12.2. If these were measured in meters, then this would also be measured in meters. Okay? If it was centimeters, then it would be centimeters. All right, so we're just going to do one more, one where we don't know one of the legs. So let's say 2, x, and 15. So what we're going to do, we're going to say 2 squared plus x squared equals 15 squared. So that's 4 plus x squared equals 225. We'll have to do some algebra, so subtract five or subtract four. X squared equals two twenty one. And just gonna double check that. Okay. Okay. So now we have two twenty one. And so we need to square root that. It's not a perfect square. So I can go two twenty one raised to the point five or I can go second square root 221. We see both of those give us 14.9. So x is approximately 14.9, which once again, if these are measured in centimeters, then this would also be measured in centimeters. If you need additional help, please come to Math Lab. Until then, calculator.